Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Yes, it is time for yet another week of the makeup protection program. If you feel like combing through all the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So first of all, how are you? I am great, actually. First of all, you would not think that I had been combing out locks every day, but I am. There's just so many. But y'all see the frizz is here, it's here. I have to do these little makeshift styles until all the frizz is back. But it's happening. It's a one-man operation right now. But um, my mom is FaceTiming me. It's a one-man operation. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I had to talk to my mom. So I was saying I am feeling fantastic. I was talking about how I'm combing out my locks, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. Also, no, I can't keep going because this is too much. Thank you. Oh, this week I since Sunday, I've been a pescatarian. I have been a pescatarian and non-dairy i don't have any issues with dairy but just trying some things to see if anything improves my mood energy all that good stuff um re-watched a netflix documentary called what the health if you don't want to give anything up don't watch it no i said what the health is what i said health okay. yeah i watched that rewatched it and that's not what really drove me to give it up i just rewatched it after i decided so let me tell you what i've made this week i did i did some fried mushrooms i know that wasn't super healthy um august was august was really into the uh, fried mushrooms i did my tomato caprese that i eat very often but i used it's like tomatoes basil no this is sangria <laughs> tomato basil and usually mozzarella cheese i use a little garlic salt balsamic vinegar and uh, olive oil but i made it with the cheese that's made from cashew milk it's actually really good and I'm trying to get the boys onto oat milk because I just I think that's going to be better for them especially like August with having asthma because I've just been doing a lot of research y'all I just get into these kicks sometimes anyway I will say that my energy has been really up like up up and I'm not sure what that's due to maybe it's because maybe it's placebo I don't know let me know if you know, because I don't. I thought I was going to miss the cheese. You know, I eat a lot of cheese. I was thinking about it. I eat a lot of cheese because I love cheese. But I even had like the little macaroni and cheese with the vegan cheese. I'm like, OK, this is good. Like, come on. All right. That's that's it. Oh, before we get started on the makeup tea, I did make a Sephora purchase today, y'all. A same day purchase. So. I got one of the Dior Rosy Glow blushes because I really need to see if these are everything people are saying that they are. I got Berry, number six. This is a color I don't have very often in my collection. So I figured I'd pick that. I really want mahogany, but I'm not sure. Oh, and I want cherry as well. But we're going to just start with one and see what we think. I also got the NARS liquid blush. I was eyeing a couple of shades, but I settled on the shade Wanderlust, which is the purple. And I settled on that because, again, it's a shade that I don't have very often. Ooh, okay. Can y'all see that right there? I think this is going to be really cute. So I'll have to do like some type of video, like a trying new makeup video. And then the other three things that I purchased were hair products. I did talk about getting this pattern leave-in conditioner. I think in the last video, this is the one with Palo Santo. And I'm going to wait until my hair is all combed out to be applying this. I also realized I ordered another leave-in conditioner. This is the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. They have a hair oil as well, but that didn't seem to have the great greatest reviews. And then I've never tried Bumble and Bumble, but I got this Bond Building Repair Oil serum just because i know with how i'm combing my hair out it's gonna be hard to save all the hair and not have any damage so this is supposed to help to uh, repair split ends and strengthen your hair and repair damage so i wanted to try that out 
And I ordered a couple products on Amazon, a split in cream by like, I think it's Argan Magic. So I am gonna be trying some different hair products. So if you're interested in hearing about how those things work, let me know. Um, I'm gonna wait again until I comb all of these out. But let's get into what's happening in these makeup streets. And honestly, I feel like we're gonna have a good week. I don't know if I said it already, but we had our talent show today and I'm on the staff choir. So we sang, uh, what's it called? Can't Stop the Feeling. Can't Stop the, yeah, Can't Stop the Feeling from Trolls. But we are still singing Africa from Toto next week. And today we got to practice with the kids and it was so great. Oh, there are some really, really talented kids out here, y'all. Like I was watching that talent show, looking at my students, former students. I wish I was so moved. Okay, the youth. Let's get into this so I don't hold y'all all day for once. Unless y'all like being held. As per usual, we are going to be starting with Makeup Release Radar. I'm scooting over. For once, I know where we left off last week. So we're going to scoot on down here. So I'm going to start with Linda Hallberg because this did release, I want to say Saturday morning, but I already edited and uploaded everything. And this is the Aim Higher palette from Linda Hallberg. Complete focus, exhilarating. Okay, this is a cool tone palette with like this little yellowish pop. Oh, and I love yellow and gray together. That's one of my favorite combinations. I'm, but as far as an eyeshadow palette, this one is not for me. So way back, I did try Linda Hallberg eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't know if they're anything super special, but this is a, a cool color story. And I think it is probably a nice palette if this color story is up your alley, but this one's just not for me. It's $49 and available now. Let me know what you think about this. And of course, Linda Hallberg can make everything look really, really good. Now, we do have uh, another installment of We Are Not Getting the R9 album from Rihanna this week. Uh, I, I wanna say for several reasons. One is we have a new shade in the Fenty Gloss Balm, Universal Lip Luminizer. And I don't know what the shade is, but was it give it to me quick is that the name of the shade it really doesn't even matter because although it looks nice these give my lips some type of reaction that i don't enjoy now there's also this which is the cherry dub crew super fine daily cleansing face scrub and triple action aha body scrub scrub has a new jam yeah it's not music it's not a, a music jam at all so let me know if you're interested in that. It comes separately. And then there's a duo for $65. Yes. Oh, August is eating oat milk ice cream and he's into it. So really fast, I did do a video with the new Nomad Okavango Safari palette, which was very nice. And where's Tasha? I ordered the Yucca palette and the liners, which the liners are here. The palette came the other day, the liners came today. So I will have that up as well and compare the two along with the Clarity Croc palette. Mugler, is that how you say it? They have the Alien Goddess Super Floral uh, shade, <laughs> fragrance. So yeah, Prickly Pear and Cactus Flower, Jasmine, Sombak, and Kokanki and amber grease, amber moss, and floral notes. Um, I have smelled a couple variations of this fragrance, but this is definitely something I would have to smell in person. Look at Willow Smith. Okay, let me know what you think about that. Briefly mentioned or put a picture up of the new Terra Moon shades. A lot of these are starting to look very similar, but they're also very, very beautiful. I see several shades that I like. I will probably wait for a sale, but those are available. Let's move on. I'm going to talk about the ABH Cosmos palette. I just think there's better pictures. NYX has some palettes here. Uh, these are all passes. And they look nice. Have I tried NYX eyeshadow? I don't think I have. So let me know how this performs, but this is going to be a pass. These are at Ulta and each palette is $20. So let me know if they're, they're nice. From LA Girl, not that glitter palette. Mm -mm. We've got a lip palette. 
okay? Prism 8 shade lip palette. And then a pigment palette, nine shades for body and face. Mm -mm. And then a glitter palette. No, no, no. Okay, these are nose. Sorry. What is Batuti? What is this? Um, I'm not familiar with this brand. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a pass. I don't think this is a new brand, but I'm really not trying to add new brands. So I'm going to move on. Yep, moving on. Now, let's see. Sydney Grace is coming out with this Bless palette. And it's a collab with Glitzy Fritzy, who I am unfamiliar with, but I'm familiar with now. And um, so when I, I don't know. I just think with all the Sydney Grace singles that I have, that I could probably do this palette with my Sydney Grace singles. I think this palette is gonna be just a really nice, basic everyday palette with a few pops of color. And I do like seeing like it's swatched out like this. I mean, you already know the quality is going to be fantastic. Like that's not even an issue, but it's not a color story. Like when I saw it, I'm like, like, oh my gosh, I need to have that only because I have so many singles. But I do think this is going to be a very nice palette and a huge congratulations to Glitzy Fritzy. I'm going to have to check her out, but that is going to be a pass. Okay, something new. Oh gosh, this is not, I don't know what that is. Shui Mora has some products. We have a limited eyeshadow palette. Um, I, none of these are really calling to me. We have a face color, which I guess is blush. And then the rouge, which is the lipstick. But yeah, all of this is a pass and I'm happy about it. Now, here we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmos palette. It's been some time uh, since I've bought anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think this palette looks really nice. I do like the new layout, like of this, the Rose Metals, the Nouveau. I think they look really, really nice. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this palette. What do you think? I know there are... Rev now, wait a minute now. I don't know if that's... I don't have to see... I'm even going to comment. We're going to have to see that in person. I don't see a price, but let me know what you think about the Cosmos palette. Let me know if you already have it. I think it's going to be a really nice palette. So we have some gel liners from Mora Cosmetics. There are 10 shades. They are Supernova Multi-Chrome liners. They are $6 each and they will have a bundle. I'm not in the market for anything like this, but they look like they could be really beautiful. Might have talked about this last week. The sleeping mask. I, I really wanted to get this, but I don't need this right now. I still have my milk sleeping mask, which is going to be gone soon. Then I can consider something else. So I'm just going to chill out. House Labs, we have a mini PhD hybrid lip oil. Let me know what you think about this. I'm always looking for a good lip oil, but I really don't need one right this second. And Pharmacy has another uh, cleansing balm strawberry shortcake. I'm passing on this because I got the little trio tower from Sephora at one point. So I don't need those. Now the BK beauty has some Lux lipsticks coming out, or I think they are out and they're available on the BK beauty's website for $24 each. I have never tried their lip products. I think they have some others. The shades look really nice. So that's, that's a good thing. Oh, what else y'all? Lip exfoliators from e.l.f. Oh, okay. That's nice. $5 each. We can get those in any time y'all. What is this? Diptyque. New fragrance. Bergamot Petite Grain Belt. No, I don't think I would like that. We also have this. Is this a restock? Ice cream for ice cream. I remember talking about this. If you have like indie shimmer palettes, you probably have most of these shades. So, you know, just so you know, $12, that's not bad for this. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Basically you, if, unless you just want an all shimmer palette, you really don't need it. Morphe has a setting spray that has SPF 30 in it. Let me know what you think about that. It's not available here yet. 
We have a new fragrance releasing from Wilhelm Parfumery. And I've tried to sense by them and I just think they're too strong. I tried Mango Skin and Poets of Berlin and they're both just really strong. So curious about Faces of Francis, but also not curious. Oh, I did get this sampler. So Five Sins. And this is a fragrance brand and they try to capture different moods with their fragrances. So I did order the sampler set from Sephora. So I will do a video on that. The notes just look very interesting. Notoriously Morb is gonna have another palette out on June 9th called Season of the Witch Summer. I have no idea uh, what this looks like and I don't think I'm getting it because I haven't received anything, but I can't wait to see the color story for that. Juvia's Place has a Nubian Glow liquid luminizer and they're $18 each in five shades. I don't need a product like this, but this looks really, really nice. So let me know if you're thinking about that. It is going to be a pass. We've got some Disney brushes from Spectrum. I am done with Disney collabs, although I love Disney. Matt Cosmetics has a, what is this? Meat squirts full squat, squirts? Okay, this is a no just because of that. They are $24 each, available on the Matt Cosmetics website. Okay, Dior, hold on a second now. There's got to be one this week. And it's this one. You need to leave. Who is wearing these shades? Who? Not me. And how much? 30, get out of here for $35. Let's move on to this. Sydney Grace has their June bundle. I did order this in the deep shade. So that's this right here. This is reminding me of a bundle they have from another month, but I am staying committed and I'm going to continue to get my Sydney Grace bundles. I really do enjoy them and it's really adding some nice things to my collection. I really like this. I do want to compare this to one of the other bundles and I can't remember which one it was, but I'm going to figure it out and just compare it just so we know, you know, whether or not it's similar, especially if you already have the other bundle I'm thinking about. Pat released her, her blushes and I did not partake. Oh, this just wasn't the most exciting release. I'm sure everything's going to be great. I did like that highlighter bomb situation, but I think I'm going to just wait for a sale. It's all going to go on sale eventually. And I've, I've learned that we have a new release from Donessa Myricks. I don't know. Why I have to say her name like that, but she's got a pink powder too, just like one size and Huda. So I wonder if this is just like a trend. Let me know. Uh, this is a pass for me though. It's not something that I need. Um, I wanted to give this, you need to leave just because I thought it already came out, but I really don't think it did now. So I'm not going to do that. But Tarte has the Big Ego Eyeshadow Palette, Empower Your Look. This is just boring and blah, it's $49. Let me know. I don't think I've ever tried Tarte Eyeshadow. Let me know what you think about this one. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not into it. We do have from K Skin, a Nourishing Body Mist with SPF 50. This is $26 and available on the K Skin website. So that's very nice. Sun Care Power by Sea Moss. Okay. Juvia, they've got the Culture 2 palette with 50,000 shades. This is a no. It's 30 shades. That's a lot of shades. That's a lot. But this is Culture 2, and it's available now at Juvia's Place for $36. Let me know what you think. I have some shadows, or I did, from Juvia's Place, but just couldn't really get into them. But what I can get into are these Gucci lipsticks, all three of them. Look at this. Pauline Red and Valeria Rose. Gorgeous. That's the matte. Then we have... Call it a day. Love that shade as well. And then I think this is Mary, Mary Mauve or Mary Move. I love all of them. I'm mm -hmm, this Mary shade right here. I don't know. I usually try to wait for the Sephora sale, like for the Gucci lipsticks because it's so expensive. Nope. 
I don't know y'all we have some lip oils and we have some matte bronzers from BH I don't know I'm just kind of bored but you know what that's okay because it means money will stay in my pocket oh interested in the hubba brow from benefit cosmetics and, and this is a growth serum I might need that because I'm trying to get my brows to have the thickness all right from ColourPop, we have a restock of the chrome liquid shadows from the legend of Cora collection uh, this is a no ladybug glow has a what did ladybug glow just have a palette I swear she did but she's got another one coming out, Everyday Sparkle. So we'll see what that is. Oh yeah, y'all. We might be I we might be safe. Tarte is doing too much and not enough at the same time with these little palettes right here. So no. And then, oh gosh, a man eater silk stick bronzer. Summer in a stick. All right, well, I'm gonna pass on that. So we might have a short video, which is sad. I don't even have any witty jokes to make or anything. That is a predicament, y'all. Hmm. Just going to check out the usual crew, y'all. We might be safe. Our wallets are safe. Pockets safe. Yeah, we about to be safe, y'all. We about to be safe. I want to be safe. All right. That's not even the right song. Let's look at point click vibes to see if she has anything. Why am I not following her? A mess. Um, not really seeing anything here either. Yeah, I'm I'm good with not seeing anything. Let's go to chic profile official and see what we have here. I think we have nothing. So we are gonna get ready to close out this video. All right, you guys, it looks like we're having a, a nice simple week, which I'm happy about because I have some new palettes in my possession. The two from Odin's Eye, the Yucca palette. I also have the Apocalypse palette from Clarity. So I cannot wait to play uh, with that. I'm still working with Into the Night from Glaminatrix. So I really don't need any new palettes or new products. I did, like I said, treat myself to a few things from Sephora, but as far as this week, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at nothing. And that feels fantastic. You can get dessert. That feels awesome. Let me know uh, what you are thinking about. I feel like I'm leaving something out, but I went over everything. I went over everything that was there on the sites and I really didn't see anything. Let me know what you're thinking about this week's makeup releases. I think it is great to have a slow week. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another episode of the Makeup Protection Program. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.